Welcome to TommyTruthful.com. This is our second time uploading this video. Instagram messed up our first video. So every world leader that has shook hands with the Ukraine president has stepped down. And what they are doing is priming people for the upcoming 2024 election. They're going to bring Q back out to mislead the people again. QAnon equals 666. Stick around at the end of this video and you will see what Q is really about. It was to track, trace, and tag the freshly red pill people and patriots, conservatives. Look, guys, I wish I was wrong, but I'm not. Mary on Twitter wrote that everyone who touches Zelensky resigns, which is interesting. After failing the UK at every opportunity to serve globalist interests, Boris Johnson resigns as prime minister to which the Russian Kremlin expressed good riddance. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, who helped deliver Italian weapons to Ukraine and rallied support for Ukraine's entry into the EU, announced his resignation. Last month, Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kallas expelled the populist center-left center party, claiming that she needed to form a new government to support Ukraine in their war against Russia. And on Thursday, Kalas officially resigned as a formality to form a new government, which he has already reached a consensus between the center-right Reform Party, the Social Democrats, and the conservative Fatherland Party to form a new three-party government to support Ukraine. And Sri Lanka's president, Godabaya Rajapaksa, who supported the Ukraine despite sanctions crippling his own nation, emailed in his resignation after fleeing the country. Beyond resignations and beyond meet and greets with Ukraine's puppet President Zelensky, we have also just seen the assassination of popular anti-globalist leader Shinzo Abe and the dramatic loss of confidence expressed by the people towards Macron. Trudeau and Biden. What is happening here? On Celia Farber's The Truth Barrier, Catherine Austin Fitz explains that we are seeing a clean out or political castration of leaders. Draghi, Johnson, Biden, Macron, Abe. Their political capital is exhausted and or they will not push the next wave aggressively. Mr. Global is looking to bring in a whole new round of fresh, meaner leadership. The next wave is total collapse. And it's not easy to find people willing to be the fall guy for the destruction of a nation. It takes a special type of person, which might explain why California Governor Gavin Newsom visited the White House right after Joe Biden was shuffled off to Israel to mumble about the Holocaust. Biden is even unsettling to the stupid, and this entire operation requires stupidity. So things are going to keep getting stranger, but it probably won't last much longer because the global financial reset is now imminent. Sri Lanka was just the beginning, and it looks like South Africa could be next, followed by everyone. The fiat fractional reserve banking scheme has been robbing the people blind for decades. But eventually, all the money runs out. And the financial pundits are all saying it's this year. The dollar has just reached parity with the euro. And fudging the numbers will no longer work. They have only one solution left, and that's war. War has often been used to save failing fiat currencies. And having no other options, the psychotic bureaucrats in charge will go to war with Russia, which will only hasten the financial collapse of the West. If it comes to World War III, then it will be the final death blow, making way for a new system. Which means that unless you're holding on to real money, you will soon be broke. Because all that paper in our wallets and numbers on our screens is going to soon be worthless. QAnon was and is never to be trusted. The CIA made Q to deceive and control those who originally would be opposed to the government. 
tricking them into trusting the government. For years, Q followers have stated, trust the plan and that Trump would defeat the New World Order and arrest key people like Hillary. Nothing ever comes of it. It was a PSYOP, Operation Zypher Pogo, to track, trace, and tag the people they knew that would oppose the New World Order, that would oppose child trafficking. Q, QAnon equals 666. It was a quantum supercomputer, the D-Wave, which has a giant Q right on the side of it. And I don't care if you like Q, guys. I still love you. QAnon 666 in Fibonacci cipher. There's the cipher. So that is God's signature. That is God's fingerprint, the Fibonacci sequence. And take a look at this, guys. Supercomputer. And it was used... To track, trace, and tag the Christians, conservatives, you know, the freshly red pill people, all the people they knew would stand up against genetic modification, child trafficking, and it was also part of the rollout of the Noah Hyde laws, the Talmudic Noah Hyde laws, all of us that'll be uh, slaughtered for not denouncing the name of Yahshua. And this went in March 20th, 32, 32 is Game Master, um of 1991 signed in by president 41 and this is why 41 days after the 2017 great american eclipse route 91 harvest festival he was on the 32nd floor with 47 weapons joe biden was the 47th vice president with 47 year old barack obama the noah hyde laws the Babylonian Talmud. So if you do not denounce Yahshua, they don't care if you call him Jesus, Yahshua, they're playing a script out of the scripture. It's about world domination. They don't care if you believe in God or not. You will denounce Yahshua or you will be beheaded. And this is why all the governments around the world bought guillotines, smart guillotines, which were sponsored by Chanel. And here's the public law, the statute. You know, the 102nd Congress, 102 is Art of War, the reflection of 201, like Event 201, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation rolled out. That's what this is all part of, guys. They're getting ready to bring forth the Antichrist. Noah Hyde Laws, 111. Who's born on that day? Queen Elizabeth, the 111th day of the year. George H. Bush, Rothschilds, The Matrix, Market Crash, Undertaker, Torture, Masonic Lodge, DJ Trump, Blueprint, Ancient Rome, Controlled, 5 and 6, Mind Controls, 56, COVID Vaccine, 56, Trump Handed Power to FEMA on 3-13-2020, 20 plus 20 plus 3 plus 13 is 56. Quantum supercomputer with the giant Q right on the side of it. This was Anthony Patch in 2014 warning us about third strand DNA. The third strand laced with silicone and gold, which allows you to interface and be controlled by a hive mind by this supercomputer. This is what QAnon was, guys. The quantum supercomputer. The D-Wave creator Gordy Rose was quoted a few years ago calling the D-Wave quantum computer an altar to the alien gods. And he said that they were summonsing the ancient ones. Look, I wish I was wrong. I so do. But I'm not. The I, the beehive, the mind. Right there, IBM. You guys do realize the D-Wave has a Q on it for qubits. I have said from the beginning of this Q cult that it's nothing more than the AI feeding info to the people that's already out there in the cloud. Everything is in the cloud. Our voices, our faces, our typing, everything is saved in the cloud, ready to be used by artificial intelligence. I suspect Q is nothing more than a psyops and a simulation to see how far it could go and look how far it's went. And now they're ramping back up to bring it out again. All part of the beast system. They're building an artificial reality for Lucifer's artificial kingdom. The 128 cubits. That was the, the first one, right? The earth is vibrating at 128 cubits. The bridge collapsed on 128. Bridge collapse equals 128. The first tower, one of the towers fell at 1028. The Challenger blew up on January 28th of 86. 
They used this over and over again. Inferno came out on 128, which is about a virus they release on the public. Now, Obama putting in the executive order 13603, legalizing uh, propaganda on the masses, which right here, U.S. repeals propaganda ban spread. Now, you're going to see how fact check, how deceptive they are, and that they put that that was false. Because the average person doesn't realize that the same people that control the media control fact check and... They didn't read the article where Facebook admitted in open court that fact check was nothing more than a biased liberal leftist opinion. It's to discredit truthers and to make them look like they're lying. And so they can put uh, fact checked on your post or your page and it also limits your reach. They can even take your page down for it. So it's been used in censorship. It's 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 comical to me how dumb they really think we are, my brothers and sisters.